Hey, if you are new here, this is Chandan and you are watching the learning field. So, this is the lecture 2 of uh, LPB. Okay. So, this is the lecture 2 of LPB for the gate mathematics and which is also helpful for any state table set examination and also for the sets and net exam. Okay. So, in the first lecture, we just started the LPB and this is the second lecture. Okay. So, those who are not watching the first lecture, I am requesting you to all. Uh, please watch the first lecture and then attend this lecture lecture number two okay the link will be in the description also here in the item okay so let's start and we were studying i am requesting you to all those who are not watching me previously so please like comment and share and obviously subscribe the channel okay so let's start with <coughs> uh, some definitions okay so the first we comes to the standard form of an lpp okay so standard form of an lpp means maximize j equal to c transpose x subject to the constant a x equal to b or x greater equal to 0 this is the non negativity conditions okay is the standard form of an lpp where a c and b are respect respectively the m by n n by 1 and m by 1 real matrices okay and uh, x belongs to r to the power n okay so this is the standard form of an lpp that means this is like the form a11 a12 and so on a1n and um, a21 a22 a2n and am1 am2 and amn into x1 x2 dot xn this is equal to b1 b2 and bn okay so that this is the system a x equal to b okay where x greater equal to 0 are satisfying the non-negativity conditions okay this is the m by n order matrix that is there are n decisions variable with m number of equations okay so this is the system and this is called the standard form of an lpb okay now <coughs> let j equal to let us consider c transpose x means this then c means and vector okay and column vector okay so j equal to c1 x1 plus c2 x2 plus cn xn suppose this is one and aij be the m by n real matrices such that uh, this is the system a11 x1 and so on greater i this is less less equal to equal to and greater equal to b1 okay so these three signs i am <coughs> already said in the first lecture okay these three signs included in this maybe these three signs occur okay so this is a21 x1 a22 x2 and this is greater less greater less equal to get equal to and greater equal to b2 and so on up to m okay that means there are n number of variables with m number of equations okay so xj greater equal to 0 for j equal to 1 to n okay the problem uh, the problem of determining n decision variables decision variables x1 x2 xn which makes z optimum and satisfying this one and two is called the general linear programming problem okay so this is another uh, so called definition you can say so this is the standard form of an lpp and this is the matrix formation okay so an intuples uh, that is x1 x2 and xn of the reals which satisfies the two that is this two is called the constraints okay this is the conditions and these are called the constant we all know that and uh, it's called the solution the n people that is this x1 x2 xn of the real reals uh, of the lpp is called the solution of an lp of the lpp okay a solution which satisfies the non negativity condition is called a feasible solution okay these terms are very important for the lpp okay so that's why uh, we just recall uh, these things once okay so this is called the feasible solution that is solution with a non negativity condition is the feasible solution a feasible solution which in addition optimize the objective function is called the optimal solutions okay so that is we suppose we get uh, for an lpb two or three feasible solution okay so from this feasible solution which optimize that is either maximize or minimize the objective functions it's called the optimal solutions okay these terms are very important now <clears throat> which uh, one more thing is uh, a general LPP is said to be in the canonical form. So, when we say that a general LPP that is a linear programming problem is of the canonical form. If all the constants are of less equal to type and the decision variables are non-negative and the objective function is to be maximized. Okay. So, there are three properties. Uh, first one is all the constants are less equal to type. The second one is all decision variables satisfies the non-negativity conditions. And the number three is 
the objective function is to be maximized okay so this, if these three conditions given in an lpp then we say that this lpp is of the form is of the canonical form okay now uh, we introduce two more important things of lpp okay so these two is uh these two are slack variable and surplus variable okay so what is slack variable suppose in an lpp the constraints with less equal to type inequality that is a i one suppose uh we take an uh, uh constraints okay from the set of constraints suppose a i one i suppose we take i th constraints okay so a i one x one a i two x two plus dot a i n x n less equal to b i suppose okay so maybe transformed into the equality and one thing is that if uh, we have to solve by uh, this is a matrix method okay so that is we have to uh, we have to solve this uh lpb using the the uh, is, uh the methods uh, in which we solve the maximum uh, matrix uh we solve the we solve the system of equations okay so the do those uh methods we solve the um, system of equations okay so maybe transform so we have to transform this less equal to or greater equal to type inequality into equality that is in equation this is not an equation this is an inequality so we have to change this inequality is to equality okay so for, for that we have to transform this uh, less equal to type inequality for the case of less equal to type inequality transform into the equality type by adding the left adding to the left a non-negative variable x n plus i is called the slag variable that is suppose 3 less than 5 okay so we have to add something to equate it with, with uh, 5 okay so this quantity is called the slag variable so here x n plus i is called the slag variable as a i1 x1 plus a i2 x2 plus a i in x n plus x n i n plus i is equal to b i okay so this is the slag variable and the surplus variable is similarly if the constant is uh, greater equal to type that is uh, this type then we have to suppose 8 is greater than 3 okay so we if we uh, need to equate this inequality then we have to uh, subtract something from here okay so this subtracted quantity is called here in lpp is called the surplus variable okay so may transform into the equality by subtracting from the left uh, of a non-negative variable x n plus j is called the surplus variable as so when i we subtract this then we this inequality transform to equality okay so a j1 x1 plus is j2 x2 plus a j n x n plus x n plus j this is equal to b j okay so slag variables means what slag variables mean requirement minus production okay so requirement minus production okay so this b we know that this the right side of the equation ax equal to b suppose x equal to this b are called the requirement uh, sorry this b is called the um yes requirement and this is the total production okay so if this is less equal to that means requirement is greater than the production okay so that means slack means requirement minus production and similarly for ax greater equal to b this is the requirement and so and this is the total production okay so surplus means production minus requirement okay i think this is uh, understandable okay so this is the easy definitions of slack and surplus variable now we comes to a very important thing which is basic solution of nlpp okay so let us consider we have to know these things properly okay uh, so that i take these topics okay because uh, you, you, you can say that sir these topics are not important so we will skip this but these topics are very important for basics okay so that's why we take this and we recall this once okay so this let let us consider in the lpp in the standard form a x equal to b where x belongs to arctic power n where a is the m by n real matrices of the uh, rank m and b is a given m by n real matrix okay so setting n minus m variables equal to zero if the reduced system of the equation if the reduced systems of the equation with m variables with m variables has unique solution then the solution so obtained along with the zero value of n minus m variables is called the basic solution okay so read it properly okay so suppose uh, we know that for in ax equal to b there are n variables and m equations okay 
and if we want to solve this system then we setting n minus m number of variables where m greater than n sorry uh, where n greater than m okay so we uh, put by set or set this n minus m variables is equal to 0 to reduce the system with m equation and m variable so uh, to get an unique solution then the solution is obtained so along with the zero value of n minus m variable is called the basic solution okay so this is the definition of basic solution now it comes to an another thing which is that the m variables which are not bound to zero are called the basic variable that is the non-zero quantities suppose there are m quantities okay there are n total n quantities and these are the m quantities total m variables which are the non-zero variables and remaining n minus m variables are we set these variables are to be zero okay so these m variables which are non-zero this is called the basic variable and the n minus m variables which are equal to zero are called the non-basic variable okay so these are called the basic variable and these are called the non-basic variables okay so the matrix b what is the matrix b so this is a sub matrix m by m sub matrix from uh, some matrix of a which is non-singular matrix okay because we all know that if the matrix is uh, non-singular then we get the unique solution okay so this is the case this is the case of what this is the case of linear solution of linear equations okay solution of linear system from what from the linear algebra okay this topics okay so this is called the basis the matrix basis matrix and the column of b are called a basic vectors okay so this b matrix which is a, a sub matrix square sub matrix of a which is non singular is called the basic matrix and the vectors of b are called the basic vectors okay so this is i think clear okay now let us comes to an another topic another definition which is any basic solution to ax equal to b in which all the variables are non negative is called the basic feasible solution okay so that means the word feasible means what the feasible means always the the variable satisfying the non negativity non negativity conditions okay so this is this is the uh, i think uh, meaning of this term feasible okay where you get the feasible that means the decision variable satisfying the non negativity conditions okay so any basic solution this is called uh, non negativity condition is called basic feasible solution okay so next one is a basic solution to the system ax equal to b in which at least one basic variable is called the degenerate basic solution okay so what do you mean by degenerate basic solution Be in a basic solution to ax equal to b in which at least one basic variables so if there are at least one basic variables uh, i think there is a mistake mm. at least one basic variables I, here vanishes okay vanishes okay okay vanishes is called the degenerate basic solutions on the other hand if no basic variables vanishes then it is called the non-degenerate basic solution what do you mean by degenerate solution and non-degenerate solution okay suppose there is a n by n system therefore we get x1 x2 the number of decision variables are total n okay suppose these are the m m variables suppose x1 x2 dot 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 x m okay and the remainings are there are m variables and remaining are n minus m variables are zero okay these are the n minus m variables okay so this is what this is the basic solution if this x m are satisfying the non negativity condition then this x and x to x m is a solution which is called the basic feasible solution and now we comes to degenerate case and non degenerate case if one, any one of these is equal to zero okay then this basic feasible solution is called degenerate solution okay and if any one of them is non zero matlab jo hai all of them are non zero then it is called the non degenerate basic solution okay i think this is clear okay now so if we write this as a tabular form then this is basic solution feasible case non feasible case feasible means you all know that x i is satisfying the non negativity conditions and this is uh, in case uh, whenever any one of uh, the basic uh, sorry uh, decision variables is say not satisfies the non negativity condition this, this is not feasible okay so in feasible case there are two cases degenerate and non degenerate and here also degenerate and non degenerate okay so now uh, let us comes to a note 
so the note is a basic solution must not contain more uh, sorry a basic solution must not contain more than m non zero variable so this is an important note that means jo basic solution hoga usme uh, m se zyada uh, decision variable variable nahi hoga theek and number 2 is a solution in which the vectors associated to the non zero variables are linearly independent okay is the basic solution is a basic solution okay that means jo non zero vector hoga wo linearly independent variables hoga wo linearly independent vectors hoga is a basic solution okay so let us comes to an important theorem if a system of equations ax equal to b where x greater or equal to 0 where a and b are respectively m by n and m by 1 real matrices has a feasible solution then it has also a basic feasible solution so this theorem ensures that if a system has basic solution then uh, feasible solution then it is also have a as a basic feasible solution so okay? these uh, topics of uh, uh, in this video we have covered okay are very important the terms feasible uh, non feasible basic solution non basic solution basic feasible solutions degenerate solution non degenerate solution these terms are very important okay for lpp okay so in this lecture we covered uh, up to this okay and uh, we continue in the next lecture okay so if the content is helpful then please be like to this video share with your friends and subscribe the channel thank you see you again in the next video